There have been so many little interesting stories and news articles over the last couple of weeks regarding Take-Two, Rockstar, or even GTA. And today we're adding another one to the list. I know a lot of you guys play on console, but for us PC players, this article is fantastic news. It looks like Rockstar and Take-Two are going after the modders again. So hopefully, maybe finally, our PC lobbies will be back to normal. So like the title suggests, Rockstar are finally banning and taking legal action, actually, against these mod makers. If you at any point in time over the last couple of years have loaded into a PC GTA Online session and it was full, you probably saw a modder. Modders are fairly frequent on the PC version of online, and it is very unfortunate. Now, I will say most, or are some modders, maybe like half of the modders, just sort of stick to themselves. They either give themselves money, spawn in some new cars, mess around with friends. They don't bother the rest of the lobby. And honestly, that's fine. Do what you want. The problem was when the other half decided, hey, let's crash people. Let's freeze their game. Let's trap them in cages. Let's just spawn infinite explosions on them. Obviously that is when it affected a lot of the people playing. Although let's be honest, when it comes to Rockstar and Take Two, the reason they probably went after this mod maker is because it's costing them shark card money. Now the actual mod maker, this was the Luna Cheats mod maker. I, I, I don't know. I never look into that stuff. No idea who these people are. Apparently they were one of the biggest mod menus for GTA Online. I believe I read they had over 40,000 users. And what's kind of crazy, they charge $30 to get access to the menu. I mean, just quick math, 30,000 or 40,000 times 30, that's over a million dollars that these people potentially made. In addition to the shark card money, I'm sure that's one of the reasons they also went after this mod maker. They don't want people making money off of something they made. Pretty sure that's illegal. But anyway, the actual statement that the Luna Cheats makers put out, this was posted to their website. After discussions with Take-Two Interactive, we are immediately ceasing all maintenance, development, and distribution of our cheat menu services. We will also be donating our proceeds to a charity designated by Take-Two. We apologize for any and all problems our software has caused to the GTA Online community. So that is nice. And again, hopefully this is the start of them going after even more of these mod makers. Because this Luna Cheats, while it was one of the biggest, it's definitely not the only one out there. And there are other ones out there. And I am hoping Rockstar are going after them all. Although I will say, this isn't the first time they've gone after mod makers a couple of years ago i think when gt line like sort of first came out rockstar and take two went after some mod makers and they sort of went through the same thing they also told the people to donate their proceeds to charity and for a while we didn't see a lot of mods in online but then of course over time people found new mod menus and the rest is history hopefully they're going back to where they actually take action against all these people one of the reasons I do think we're starting to see this now is actually because of the enhanced edition of GT Online coming out at the end of this year. It's been leaked, it's been rumored that this enhanced edition of GTA 5 and GT Online will be on the next gen engine, will be on like Red Dead's engine. I'm also wondering if maybe now they're thinking about upgrading GTA Online to a better state. And if they are, maybe that better state includes cross play cross platform play most games nowadays have cross platform play like call of duty for instance you can play with people on xbox ps4 and pc that's been one of the highly requested features of gta online so maybe that's what they're planning to do when this enhanced edition comes out of course if they wanted to do that they have to clean up PC because I know I'm pretty sure almost 100% of you guys on consoles don't want to cross-platform play with people on PC if modders 
are still rampant. That is, of course, just some speculation, but maybe that's the reason they're starting to go after these mod makers all of a sudden, because these people, these mods have been in the game for years, honestly. And it's not like overnight people started paying money for them. Paid mod menus have been a thing for a while. So Rockstar and Take-Two could have gone after these people at any time, but now they're starting to do it, possibly because they want to make GTA Online a lot better when the Enhanced Edition comes out at the end of this year. Now, another thing that could happen, and this hasn't been confirmed, I don't know if we're gonna get details on this, like from the, the mod makers themselves, I'm sure they just dipped, but it might be possible that Take-Two and Rockstar could get like the IP addresses or the accounts of all the people who ended up getting and using this mod menu, which would make banning those accounts much easier. That could be something that does happen. That's 40,000 people, you know, that could be banned. So that is something maybe to just be aware of. I'm sure a lot of people who do end up using mod menus, they probably don't care if they get banned or whatever, because it's not like a, a legitimate account anyway. But it is something I thought that I would mention that is a possibility. I am curious though, let me know in the comment section, what are your thoughts on this topic? Because I've seen some mixed reaction regarding this mod menu going down. Some people are of course happy because, you know, this mod menu going down, that's a lot less modders, hopefully in GTA Online. Then others are kind of just like, really Rockstar, that's what you're doing? Like instead of making the game better, instead of making the anti-cheat better, it's like you're just gonna send cease and desist letters after these people. I mean, obviously what they did was right and definitely deserved, but then again, it is, you know, it is true. Rockstar in 2021, not any other games really have issues like this or not many other at least on the scale like you don't see this many cheaters in games like call of duty or i don't know what other big games there are i mean sure there are some but not on the scale like gta i do hope maybe with this expanded edition maybe they they buff up the anti-cheat software so there aren't as many people able to cheat but then again, I also think it is partially on the mod makers themselves because I, I did a look, I did a read through some of the features that were available on this particular mod menu. And I mentioned, you know, there's a decent amount of people out there who probably buy mod menus just to get some money or just to spawn some cars and hang out with friends and mess around with friends. And that's fine. The problem is like, look at some of these features. It's literally, there's a, there's a section just labeled abuse. You can freeze people, shake their camera, just set them on water or rocket or explosion loops, put a force field around them. You could put them in a fire loop, have clones spawn around them, kick them, glitch them out, give them five stars infinitely, cage them, blame every kill that you get on them so people think they're the cheater, airstrike them, suicide them, have a fighter jet go after them. And those aren't even the bad ones. Like they had this, you could literally crash people. Why is that even an option? Like if you're gonna make a mod menu, just not have any of that stuff. Like have the money, have the spawning in cars. Don't have the things that people can abuse others with. I think that's why, you know, modders and, and cheaters are seen in such a bad light. Like no one cares if you're glitching money for yourself. That's Rockstar's problem. That's not my problem. But when you start messing with my game, then that's like, there's nothing good. Like, just delete them all, you know what I mean? But yeah, anyway, I am curious to hear your guys' thoughts. But that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please drop a video like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA content, and as always, I'll see you all in the next one.